Hey, this is Matt from Bridge to STEM. I'm going to teach you how to create a mini game I, I made on Minecraft called Skeleton Dispersion, which spawns skeletons and gives players superpowers using command blocks. We also use water in our game design. Stay tuned. So first, we're actually going to use a command to give ourselves a command block. So forward slash give at P. So now we need some redstone and a pressure plate so that we can have a mechanism that activates whatever code is going to go in the command block. Remember that the computer only understands exactly what you tell it, so we need to not make any errors. And Minecraft even has an autocomplete feature that helps you with that. So now we're going to use the title command. So remember, type this exactly um, and set your title between the quotes. You'll see what happens. So now we've added another command block and we're going to give it a new command, which is going to be to give the player a diamond sword. This is going to be really important because our player needs something to fight off the skeletons with. So now we've added a third command block and we're going to give it an effect called jump boost. This is going to give our player their first superpower. Um, so we're going to set the effect level first and then the amount of seconds the effect will last for. So now we're going to set another command block that's going to give the player the slow falling effect so that we can counterbalance the jump boost so that the player falls slowly. So this will enable the player to not lose health when they fall. So notice how we've built a stone platform for our skeletons to be on. We've created this sort of half pyramid like structure so that when we put water on it, um, the skeletons will interact with each other and move in different ways, which will make it harder for the player to target one at a time while a stream of arrows are being fired at them. So now what we're going to do is find the perfect location for our skeletons to spawn. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a little tower of sort and we're going to target a block. And we're going to do that by pressing F3 so that our coordinate, our coordinates show up. If you look at the right side of the screen, there's going to be something called a targeted block. And we're going to want to save those coordinates. So write them down on a piece of paper. Here we have negative 317, 119, and negative 180. 
So now we're actually going to set our command blocks to spawn skeletons at the location that we wanted. Um, and we're going to use the summon command. So summon Minecraft skeleton. And we're going to type in our coordinates. So now it's time to add in another effect. We're actually going to use the strength effect and set it to a level where the player will actually destroy skeletons with one hit for 20 seconds. So notice how we've changed up how the pressure plates are connected to the redstone so that every block is powered. This programming command gives the player instant health. For more effects, search the Minecraft wiki, link in the description. Okay, now it's time for us to test our game, see if we need to modify the power of our effects or any heights, or see if our skeletons are dispersing as much as we want them to, according to the gravitational properties of water. All right, so dodge, dodge, slash, slash, and we've made a great game. Thank you for being here and sticking all the way through. I hope you create really cool and sustainable games. Okay, everyone, thank you for being here. Come learn science and how to code with our Bridge to STEM. Go to bridgetostem.com to sign up for our after-school adventures.